the LDAP row and let's go ahead and add it right there there's no specific configuration yet so pretty much next 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 and install this installation will take a moment I'll pause the video until it finishes there we go the installation has finished let's go and configure it and I'll go and run this uh, instance go on and uh, run ADLDS next 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 we're gonna create a unique instance we're gonna call it whatever we want but in my case I'm gonna call it uh, our LDAP okay it pre-generated these ports I can leave it default or I can change it as you see it says LDAP 5000 the default port for uh, LDAP is not uh, 5000 but it is uh, 389 so we could go on and change it make it uh, 5389 and let's go and change this to 1200 just for this is a testing uh, environment anyway so we could we could choose whatever port we want let's make it 1300 let's click next and uh, if this port is available yes it is and uh, we're gonna choose an option right here in this one we're gonna choose uh, yes create uh, application directory partition and we're gonna give it a name okay we're gonna tap on OU we're gonna choose uh, which OU it is and in that uh, OU gonna be equal to our our LDAP comma I'm gonna say DC equal no because that's what I have and then DC equal local and that should be it we're gonna click on next remember this is the the location uh, in LDAP hierarchy where the server must begin searching so that's that's where we put it so next 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 so we're gonna leave it uh, this uh, network service account and then uh, we're not going to use the administrator account but I'll use a specific account which I have for LDAPs so I'm gonna say find let's go for that uh, specific group LDAP admins I just added the LDAP admin group and let's see what comes next we could choose only this uh, in this case let me choose everything we could use uh, MS user LDF but uh, that should do it but I'm gonna pick up everything for service okay next next let it finish its uh, configuration it may take a moment so while it's doing that I can pause the video once it's finished I'll resume Oops. here we go let's go on and tap in the one of the admin account Just type in the full account information okay it's importing all of these still copying we're still waiting I'll pause the video for a moment it's importing different LDIF we're still waiting there we go finish that is it let's take a look okay it has been finished so let's go on and take a look at LDAP and see what's happening there we go our LDAP is running so we are all set and that's pretty much it if you want you could go to uh, ADSI edit and uh, do a little bit more setting if you want stick around let me just go on and 
run this. Um, okay. Gonna go right here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to, even though that configuration is done, you could just start using it, but in here, let's go to ADSI edit, actually, there we go, we have it right there. Let's go and play a little bit more with it. Let's go on and right click and connect to. We could uh, name it whatever we like, so in my case, I'm just gonna call it. Thinking about a good name for it, so. Let's call it Pactano. Just a name. And then uh, let's go and say point to where. We're gonna find the location to point to. We're gonna choose uh, DC equal Pactano, comma, DC equal local. And uh, this should do the trick. Yet uh, we have to specify the server as well. Let's say server one. Gonna go on and put on um, Pectanu dot local, and let's click. There we go. Bingo. We got all the good stuff, and we got this information. We should be able to see the users. Yes. There we go. All the information for schema information. Everything is right there. So we are pretty much done with this portion. If uh, I'll, I think I don't want to make this video longer, so let me go on and uh, make another video. How do we connect this to um, uh, Cisco ASA? That will be on the next video. Thank you for watching, and hopefully.